Comic-Con Africa is back. It's back with the bang, and it features a superhero inspired by Nelson Mandela Brothers. Well, of course, Pimelo and uh, Umpile Du are showcasing their comic book, Young Nelson, an act of kindness. And the brothers join us now in studio to tell us more. Thank you for your time. Good morning. Thank you morning. The Du Bodu brothers. <laughs> the D brothers. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Now, this is quite exciting uh, to hear that, you know, Comic Boon, proudly born and bred in South Africa, will be showcasing a, such a, an international and big platform. How did this actually, op this opportunity come about yeah well um, I think uh, leading up to the first comic-con in 2018 um, I'd already come up with the idea of a song titled young Nelson mm -hmm. and you know when I looked at the song the more I read through it and I played it to myself it was a hip-hop song the more I looked at the character and the, the things I was saying I was like what if this was a character you know so by the time that the first comic-con came around we weren't ready visually because I didn't even know my little brother would actually draw the artwork. I tried someone else, it didn't work out. But finally, once we'd actually um, come up with the character, come up with the first story, he illustrated it. Right. And once we were done with the comic, we th said, you know what, next year, Comic Con, we're going. You know? uh, so then it was just about applying and obviously um, sending artwork and so forth. And then finally, they're like, okay, cool, you guys should be there, this is mm. your stall. And yeah, ever since then it was it was mind blowing. You know, the reception on the day yeah, yeah. for people to be like, you know, this is a story. It's about a young guy. He gets the nickname as a boxer. Yes. You know, young Nelson for his genius and his boxing skill. For people's eyes to light up and be like, I get it. You know. Right. So that was really inspiring, refreshing, and it said to me that you know, understanding what comic books are, for example, in the USA, that you can use them as symbols to kind of condition the mind mm. of the population. I was like, this is a tool that we can maybe use to inspire. The nation so that's fantastic yeah. I don't feel I mean you did the illustration obviously is, is, is Nelson the only character that we get to see in the comic book or is there more to that story and other you know interesting characters around him um there's definitely more um, I think with comic books being like fairly new especially it's a, it's a growing market at the moment so we just wanted people to kind of fall in love with the initial character not give people too much too soon so um, I think it's just uh, us introducing the first comic book to say this is who he is yeah um, this is what he does and um, yeah, so I think that's that's it. There's plenty, plenty, plenty more to come. You're so right. We're always excited about that. And then let's touch more on that. What are some of the themes that you tackle within this book? Already, I get an idea with you know young Nelson and the act of kindness. But what other themes do you touch on? Well, uh, Tabo Ma Africa is young Nelson's real name. Uh, you know, and he gets the nickname young Nelson at a local boxing gym when he's really you know just he's unemployed and he's a graduate. Mm. So he's dealing with that frustration of being so talented, so genius but struggling with job interviews you know so uh, one day coming back from the, the boxing gym um, he actually helps an old lady gives her his last bit of money and you know from that act of kindness he's given with the power to change the course of where the country is headed so he deals with with every issue but sometimes through other people so he's not always going to have the answer or the solution but he is looking always to be the person who brings the right person into the position to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. So he works with the police, he works with the community, he works with the, the hospitals. Look, he's a community activist, but more looking at, you know, how do I use my, my status to make other people shine? So, yeah, I think we touch on everything the country faces. I think we're always kind of organically looking at the ch challenges we face yeah. and going back and writing, you know, and bringing characters that represent certain mm. themes. So, yeah, I think we look at it, the country and we say, how do we inspire, how do we motivate, how do we put an image of heroism to our, you know, victimhood in a way. Yeah, but so, also, Pimela, I mean, the timing yeah. of this book couldn't be more perfect. Yeah. At a time where we're faced with a pandemic, we, we've been under lockdown, and we need heroes from yeah. where they are, right? We've got your healthcare front, uh, frontline healthcare workers, uh, you need business people to bo help boost up the economy, and I think the timing of this book, showing that character of heroism, is just... It came at the right time. Wow, thank you, thank you. And you know, it's one of those things that even when I looked at the, the, the whole genre of comic books and yeah. storytelling, I looked at the United States, I'm like, you know, this country has so much ego, so much self-confidence. Mm. And I realize it comes from themselves reaffirming their greatness. You yeah. know, you look at the Captain Americas, you look at um, the, you know, Supermans, you know, you, you know it gives you that self-esteem. And that's what I'm thinking that we need right now. Yeah. We need. Um, to condition our minds, you know, the more right. you repeat a message over and over again, the more yeah. you believe it. 
condition our minds to be like, we can do this. We can do know? this, but also a sense of patriotism. Because yeah. where you've got your Captain Americas, you know that I want to make sure that I contribute to making my country as great as possible. Yeah. So, Umpila, I mean, just touching on the virtual conference, I mean, what does it mean for both of you? Because Comic Con usually is a place where we go there physically, we get to interact with some of the, you know, the heroes there, but this time uh, we're seeing more of a virt virtual element. Have you seen an opportunity in that, or has it kind of stifled uh, where you are hoping to gain access to and exposing your product to? Um, I, I think even when we began with our uh, project, we were just sitting like, you know, we are where we need to be. So I think even before Comic Con hit, I was like, do we go? Do we not go? Mm -hmm. um, and my brother's like, no, we have to, have to go. I think, um, you know, there are times where we, uh, I don't know, like we, we were still trying to figure out, okay, in terms of us being, are we at the right place? So even before, like during the lockdown, we're like, Yo, it would be nice if, like, South Africa woke up and there's young Nelson, right. you know? Yeah. So um, it, it just gave us the extra confidence to say, you know, let's be there, let's go to Comic-Con. Whether it's two people that show up, whether it's everybody that tunes in virtually, um, the fact that someone got to see something, you know, different from, you know, the Captain Americans, and uh, um, it, it really did inspire us to say, let's, let's go on. So we see an opportunity right. um, more than, a, hmm, uh, we, you know, it's online, so we don't get to interact yeah, with yeah, people, yeah. they don't get to ask questions. You know, we don't get to shake hands. So for us, it's still, a, it's still a positive. And there were people from last year that were like, oh, yeah, I wanted to get the comic book last right. year, but I couldn't. So the fact that after a year and also lockdown was still relevant, it, 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 it's a, it's it's a little humbling. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm not out of time, but I have to ask you, where can we get a hold of the book? If ever I want to get a hold of my copy, can I access it? Yes, you're going to get in touch with us through our social media okay. handles. So at Rainbow Nation Comics, um, also email Comics at gmail.com, and then we'll be able to get that's in the, touch. That's the cover. That, that's what I'm looking at right yes, now, right? Yes, this is the, the cover right now. <laughs> okay. And, um, yeah, that's, I think, Young Nelson as a hero. So. Oh. Yeah, N so. Now we know that Bobby needs to leave Kane. <laughs> There's a new Kane in town. Come on, we must move with the time. Thank you. Thank yes. you so, so thank you so much, Umpila. And Umpila, we're so proud of you. Great job. Thank you so much for joining thank us. So